questions? Yep. Okay, so you've just had carpal tunnel operations. Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, last Thursday. And what's it that you're feeling with it now? That it's um, swollen? Or... Yeah, it's not, the swelling's not going down mm -hmm. and the bruising's coming out a bit more now. Okay. So, when you want to tap, how's it going to be easiest for you to tap? Can you still use those? Yeah, probably on there. there. Yep. All right. Probably that way. Okay. Yep. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Okay. So let's just start with, so while you're tapping, let's just start with why you had to get carpal tunnel done um, first. Or what were the symptoms first? Uh, numbness in my fingers. Yeah. Um, pins and needles. Couldn't feel my hands. Okay. And what were your thoughts about getting carpal tunnel? No, I was fine with it. Okay. And with your job, how yeah. do you use your hands? Constantly. Right. And do you like your job? Love it. Okay. I was fine with getting the surgery. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything that's coming up for you now that it's it's swollen and bruising? Um, no, I did go to work yesterday and was a bit cranky in there with okay. the shot. Okay. So you were cranky because you had to go into work and you shouldn't have? No, I was cranky because the shot wasn't how I would want it to be. Okay. All right. So what does that feel like when you walk into the shop and it's not the way you want it to be? I was angry. And where do you feel that in your body? No, probably all the pain was in my hand because I couldn't do anything. Okay. All right, so if you think about that, when you walk into the shop and you've got all that anger because it's not the way that you want it to be, yep. and did you feel sort of a bit helpless because you weren't there? And... Yeah. Okay. And you're feeling that anger in your body, where do you feel it? In my hand. In your hand? Yeah. And nowhere else? No. And what out of 10? It was a 10 when okay. I walked in. All right, so... Just repeat after me. Yep. And if you want to change the words to make it more real for your ad words, then you just do yep. that. All right. Even though I've got this 10 out of 10 anger. Even though I've got this 10 out of 10 anger. When I remember walking into the shop yesterday. When I remember walking into the shop yesterday. It wasn't the way I wanted it to be. It wasn't the way I wanted it to be. I have all this anger and it's stuck in my hand. I have all this anger and it's stuck in my hand. No wonder my hand's feeling bruised and swollen this morning. No wonder my hand's feeling bruised and swollen this morning. I've got all this anger trapped in there. I've got all this anger trapped in there. And even though my hand's holding all this anger. And even though my hand's holding all this anger. I accept myself. I accept myself. And the angry feelings I'm having. And the angry feelings I'm having. And I'm letting my body know I can process it now. And I'm letting my body know I can process it now. My hand doesn't deserve to hold on to all this anger. My hand doesn't deserve to hold on to all this anger. And I accept myself deeply and completely. And I accept myself deeply and completely. This feeling of anger. This feeling of anger. I'm holding it in my hand. I'm holding it in my hand. I'm holding it right where the operation is. I'm holding it right where the operation is. I feel a little bit helpless. I feel a little bit helpless. A little bit out of control. A little bit out of control. The shop's not the way I want it to be. The shop's not the way I want it to be. Not the way I'd have it. Not the way I'd have it. If I hadn't had the operation. If I hadn't had the operation. No wonder I've got all this anger. No wonder I've got all this anger. I'm surrounded by people who are not doing their job properly. I'm surrounded by people who are not doing their job properly. Not the way I'd want it. Not the way I'd want it. Not the way it would be if I was there. Not the way it would be if I was there. No wonder I have all this anger trapped in my hand. No wonder I have all this anger trapped in my hand. And I can really feel it when I walked into the shop. And I could really feel it when I walked into the shop. This feeling of anger. This feeling of anger. Trapped in my hand. Trapped in my hand. No wonder I'm feeling it in the swelling and bruising. No wonder I'm feeling it in the swelling and bruising. I'm letting my hand know we can process it now. I'm letting my hand know we can process it now. It doesn't have to hold on to it. It doesn't have to hold on to it. Releasing this anger. Releasing this anger. In the swelling and bruising. In the swelling and bruising. I'm letting my hand know. I'm letting my hand know. We can release this now. We can release this now. Letting go of this anger. Letting go of this anger. Processing this anger. Processing this anger. I choose to release this anger. I choose to release this anger. It doesn't deserve to be trapped in my hand. It doesn't deserve to be trapped in my hand. I choose to release this anger. I choose to release this anger. So when you think of walking into the shop now, and it's not the way that you want it to be, Yep. what else is coming up for you? Is it like, didn't I give them the right instructions? Probably or disappointment. Listen? Disappointment? Yep. Mm. So is there disappointment in one person or two people? Or um, a couple of people? Two people. Okay. Yep. So when you think of being disappointed in them, yep. where do you feel that in your body, that disappointment? No, I probably felt it in my stomach. Okay, so yeah. do some more. What is it out of 10? 
Is that all right? Yeah. 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 Even though I've got some disappointment. Even though I've got some disappointment. When I particularly think of two people. When I particularly think of two people. And I'm feeling it in my stomach. And I'm feeling it in my stomach. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I've got some disappointment. Even though I've got some disappointment. And it's trapped in my stomach. It's trapped in my stomach. When I think of these two people. When I think of these two people. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. I still have some disappointment trapped in my stomach. I still have some disappointment trapped in my stomach. And I'm letting my stomach know we can process it now. And I'm letting my stomach know we can process it now. It doesn't belong trapped there. It doesn't belong trapped there. Releasing this disappointment. Releasing this disappointment. It doesn't belong trapped in my stomach. It doesn't belong trapped in my stomach. When I think of these two people. When I think of these two people. When I walked into the shop. When I walked into the shop. I felt disappointment. I felt disappointment. And I felt, I felt it in my stomach. And I felt it in my stomach. But I'm processing and releasing that now. But I'm processing and releasing that now. It doesn't belong trapped in my stomach. It doesn't belong trapped in my stomach. Releasing this disappointment. I'm releasing this disappointment. So when you think about your stomach when you walked in there, is there still anger there? No. What about disappointment? No. So... When you um, think of your hand now, yep. does it, what's the the level of um, pain in the... It's not hurting you. <laughs> Hang on a minute, it was a minute ago. <laughs> what about moving it? Um, no, I can move it. Mm -hmm. It's still a little bit sore mm -hmm. when I move it in here. Okay. But that's that's probably um, just the stitches and everything. The stitches, yeah. And, and but it's otherwise, my maybe is you can feel it as um, um, healing. Yeah, yeah. So let's do that. Even though I've still got some remaining pain. Even though I've still got some remaining pain. I've just had an operation. I've just had an operation. I've got stitches. I've got stitches. It's normal to feel some sort of pain. It's normal to feel some sort of pain. I choose to let my hand know. I choose to let my hand know. That I feel this is healing pain. That I feel this is healing pain. And I choose to feel it as healing. And I choose to feel it as healing. I choose to feel this healing pain. I choose to feel this healing pain. It's not hurting pain. It's not hurting pain. It's healing pain. It's healing pain. It's natural to have some sort of feeling. It's natural to have some sort of feeling. When you're healing. When you're healing. And I'm letting my body know. And I'm letting my body know. That I'm feeling these sensations. That I'm feeling these sensations. And I'm feeling them as healing. And I'm feeling them as healing. And I let my body know we can heal. And I let my body know we can heal. I give it full permission. I give it full permission. And I choose to feel the healing sensations. And I choose to feel the healing sensations. As good sensations. As good sensations. Mm. So you can see how you know some people can feel the sensations and feel it as pain and worry. and. Yep. Um, you know, I, I heard you say before, what if it's swelling and what if what if the stitch breaks and what if I can't get back to work? Yep. So what about thinking about all those what ifs, you know, what's the worst case scenario? That I can't go back to work. Okay, and what's that bring up if you can't go back to work? Everything. Everything. So what's that bring up as everything is like, oh, they're not going to do a good job, they'll... Well, my clients will be disappointed because I'm not back. Mm -hmm. I'll be disappointed because mm -hmm. I'm not back there. Mm -hmm. um, financially, I need to go back to work. Yeah, okay, so even though I've got this worst case scenario, even though I've got this worst case scenario, and it's bringing up emotion, and it's bringing up emotion, <laughs> <laughs> and now we get into it, and now we get into it, what if I can't get back to work, what if I can't get back to work, I have this fear that all my clients will be disappointed, I have this fear that all my clients will be disappointed, and I don't want to disappoint one, I don't want to disappoint them, so I've got all this sadness, so I've got all this sadness, I'm letting my hand know. I'm letting my hand know. It's safe to heal. It's safe to heal. Releasing this feeling of disappointment. Releasing this feeling of disappointment. I don't want to disappoint my clients. I don't want to disappoint my clients. I've got a great business. I've got a great business. And they rely on me. And they rely on me. And I don't want to disappoint and them. And I don't want to disappoint them. I've got all this responsibility. I've got all this responsibility. And I'm putting it all in my hand. And I'm putting it all in my hand. But I'm letting my hand know. But I'm letting my hand know. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep tapping. I don't want to disappoint my clients. I don't want to disappoint my clients. I've built up a great business. I've built up a great business. And they rely on me. They rely on me. And I don't want to lose it. And I don't want to lose it. I don't want to disappoint people. I don't want to disappoint people. I never want to disappoint people. I never want to disappoint people. 
I'm releasing this feeling of disappointing people. I'm releasing this feeling of disappointing people. Where are you feeling that? Uh, probably my stomach. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disappoint people. I don't want to disappoint people. I'm feeling that in my stomach. I'm feeling that in my stomach. I never want to disappoint people. I never want to disappoint people. I'm releasing that feeling. I'm releasing that feeling. Processing it out of my body. Processing it out of my body. This sadness of disappointing people. This sadness of disappointing people. I've got such a great business. I've got such a great business. I've got such great clients. I've got such great clients. They love me. They love me. And I don't want to disappoint them. And I don't want to disappoint them. I have this fear that I'll disappoint them. I have this fear that I'll disappoint them. And I'm feeling it in my stomach. And I'm feeling it in my stomach. No wonder I've got this worry about my hand healing. No wonder I've got this worry about my hand healing. I'm letting my hand know. I'm letting my hand know. It's safe to heal. It's safe to heal. I'm releasing this disappointing feeling. I'm releasing this disappointing feeling. I'm releasing all this pressure I'm putting on my hand. <laughs> I'm releasing all this pressure. That I'm putting on my hand. No wonder I'm feeling the pressure in my hand. No wonder I'm feeling the pressure in my hand. No wonder my hand was feeling swollen. No wonder my hand was feeling swollen. I had all this worry. I had all this worry of disappointing people. Of disappointing people. And I was keeping it trapped in my stomach and my hand. I was keeping it trapped in my stomach and my hand. I choose to release this disappointing feeling. I choose to release this disappointing feeling. I don't like disappointing people. I don't like disappointing people. I choose to have strength in my stomach. I choose to have strength in my stomach. And compassion for myself. And compassion for myself. Releasing this disappointing feeling. Releasing this disappointing feeling. I don't like to disappoint people. I don't. I'm disappointing people. Releasing this feeling that I'm disappointing people. Releasing it out of my stomach. <coughs> Releasing it out of my stomach. So when you think of that, you know, worst case scenario. Yep. That, you know, something happened and you didn't heal and you wouldn't get back to work and you'd be disappointing people. Yep. What's that feel like in your stomach now? If that happens, that happens. Mm -hmm. So it's less now? Yeah. So if there was any of it left, um, what colour would help to dissolve it completely and heal it? Mm. Purple. Mm -hmm. Let's make it cool. This purple or this purple? Um, that one. Okay. So just keep tapping and breathe that purple in. I accept this healing purple energy. I accept this healing purple energy. I breathe it into my energy system. I breathe it into my energy system. In through my heart. In through my heart. And I send it to my stomach. And I send it to my stomach. And anywhere else that's needed. And anywhere else that needs it. Releasing and dissolving any remaining disappointing feelings. Releasing and dissolving, dissolving any mm -hmm. remaining feelings of disappointing people. Of disappointing people. I choose to feel strength. I choose to feel strength. I picture my clients. I picture my clients. They all love me. They all love me. I love my work. I love my work. I'm allowing my hand and my stomach. I'm allowing my hand and my stomach to feel this healing purple energy. To feeling this healing purple energy. This strength. This strength. And I let my body know. And I let my body know. We don't need to hold this feeling. We don't need to hold this feeling. Of disappointing others. Disappointing others. Processing and releasing it all. Processing and releasing it all. Dissolving any remaining remnants. Dissolving any remaining remnants. I look forward to getting back to work. I look forward to getting back to work. I let my hand heal naturally. I let my hand heal naturally. I choose to feel the healing sensations in my hand. I choose to feel the healing sensations in my hand. And I let my hand know it's safe to heal. And I let my hand know it's safe to heal. And I forgive myself. I forgive myself. For all the pressure I put on myself. For all the pressure I put on myself. And hold in my hand. And hold in my hand. All my stomach. All my stomach. I choose to release it all. I choose to release it all. And feel that purple healing energy. And feel that purple healing energy. I give my body permission to heal easily. I give my body permission to heal easily. And I choose to get back to work. And I choose to get back to work. Where I love being. Where I love being. And love treating my clients. Love treating my clients. I have a great business. I have a great business. I feel that cleansing, healing energy in my body. I feel that cleansing, healing energy in my body. And I'm excited about healing and getting back to work. And I'm excited about healing and getting back to work. Excited about healing and getting back to work. Excited about healing and getting back to work.
So when you feel your hand now, No pain. No pain? Mm -hmm. And when you think about worst case scenario, you know, you knocked it or split the stitches and it, and it was an extra week and you couldn't get back to work, what does that feel like? Oh, I'd be cranky but I'd understand it. Mm -hmm. So you're not feeling that so much in your stomach anymore? No. Or about that feeling of disappointing your clients? No. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Don't need to go to the doctor now. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No worries. It's good, huh? Yep. Mm.